Okay, so here's the next steps. We've got all these new posts, uh, well, supports put up in there. Um, and we've got those forms that we used for making the beams and the posts laying flat there and some new ones as well. And that's going to be what we will pour the cement on for making the, the slab roof. Um, <clears throat> they got done faster than we expected. And uh, so uh, Jason is actually going to go to Baguio today to get some more things that they need for the next step. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what's up. So I'm supposed to get cement today, um, bags of cement today. We're going to be cementing the slab uh, tomorrow and we need 150 bags of cement. So we called this place uh, in our town that does cement bags. It's a decent price and it's close so I can just pick it up in my truck. Uh, I will have to take several truck, several trips, but that's fine. Uh, so we called Monday to reserve 150 bags and they said okay. And I came here today to get the bags and now they're telling me there's only 90. And we planned on being able to do this one based on them having the 150 bags. So now we gotta figure out where we can get the other 60 bags um, because we are doing the cementing tomorrow so we have to get it immediately. Uh, so this may have totally ruined our entire plans for the entire week. Um, this is a frustration doing construction uh, here sometimes. Um, so yeah, well, I'll let you know what happens. All right, here is the base of the slab roof that I've been telling you guys about. We've got the uh, steel bars here, thin layer of uh, plastic, and then the, uh, I don't know how what you exactly call this board, but it's like a plywood, but waterproof. So we got our mixer down there that we just bought, so we don't rent another one. So we'll do the same thing we did last time. Mix the cement down there, pass it up this ladder, and start dumping it here. So we got these PVC pipes that are gonna be for the uh, wirings. And you can see kind of the boxes there and over there and over there uh, for the lights. We'll put these PVC pipes down uh, to, uh, to each of those different uh, boxes so that the wiring can be uh, can be done after the cementing is done without a problem. So that is what's going on next, guys. So we're supposed to be cementing tomorrow. Uh, today we are carrying bags of cement. I just went down and uh, purchased them. And uh, we have to go to two different places because of what I just told you. Uh, and so we're going to be doing this all day. 150 bags of cement we got to carry up here. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> all right. So this is what we are doing. Give you a better look now that we actually have some going on. There is the junction box uh, where a light is going to be underneath that. And then we get the pipes that go into the into the hole step. That way we can run the when the run the electrical cables through the PVC pipe. Um, since the floor is going to be cement, so we got going out to the outlet there, this one that bends to go over to the outlet there, we got this one that comes around here, goes to those junction boxes, the outlet there, and then coming back around, so we've still got several more to go, here's Jason working on that, uh, so yeah, this is what's going on, um, so yeah, so you can have a better idea of what it's, what I was talking about before. I uh, hope it makes sense to you now. So it's threatening to rain, and we are trying to get the cement into the church so that the rain doesn't destroy the bags of cement. So um, this is what's going on. We carry the bags one by one up the pathway here. Um, there's one, two, three, four, I think five of us that are carrying them. Um, they're 90 pounds a piece, and we've got... I think 70 down by the road we've got to bring up here and then there's another 40 or 50 that we still need to get from the store but because it's raining on and off I am hesitant to do it until we know it's not going to rain anymore. 